What's up dreamers? Today I am in the middle of the woods, somewhere in the north of England, above Leeds, and I'm on a Christian Creatives retreat. So this is the first ever retreat that I've been on and I usually go to loads of different events, particularly Christian events over summer, but I'm always filming, I'm always serving, volunteering, or making some epic vlog or something like that. But I really wanted to do something where I didn't actually have to do anything. So this video is not some sort of epic montage, there's no music or crazy edits or anything like that. And as you can tell, I didn't even bring my proper equipment with me, so I'm sort of, using this, making do with this lens and mic. Anyway, I knew that God wanted me to be here. I'm not great at treating myself. I'm on a bit of a journey on learning to spend money on myself, as you might have seen. And there's a few things that I wanted to go through that the ways that God basically showed me that I should be here. Um, it actually started only like a couple of weeks ago when I saw online that a friend of mine was coming here and I looked into it and I was like, wow this looks amazing it looks like just what i need it's perfect timing and i was like mm, i'm not if i do i want to part ways with the money or not is it too last minute but actually our landlord then said that we needed to be out of the building for a few days and it landed up perfectly with with what was happening here and we we thought oh we should go to we we knew we would want to go to leeds anyway that's where my wife's parents are where hepzibah's grandparents are to be with them it's always a good time and this place was only like 45 minutes away from where they live and so i began to think hmm strange how i'm kind of in the area anyway and then a job that I thought I was going to have got cancelled and so I was even more freed up and then someone dropped £500 into our account out of nowhere and we actually are still not sure who that is and all of these things sort of lining up perfectly it then got to a couple of days before and I had to, I got the message that I had to move out of my office, that that was sort of it. They were kind of renovating that as well as renovating our house. And so it was like all changed this week. And on top of that, I looked again at the website and tears started like coming to my eyes. I started crying and I was like, the Holy Spirit's on me. I think I just need to do this, even though it feels super weird, super uncomfortable. Let's go for it. And so about two or three days ago, I booked into here this place it's called wide open uk it's for christian creatives who just want to get away get some space just dream rest think eat network with a few other creatives and it has been an absolutely amazing time i'm so happy i've come it's so quiet and peaceful out here all you can hear is sort of the wind in the trees and we've just feasted and drank loads of coffee and I've made a few notes on maybe some of the things that I feel God kind of saying to me in this time, particularly about my career and my creativity and my filmmaking and where it's going. We're all gonna be leaving with a few nice little memorabilia items, including a snazzy notebook they all gave us. And we all made something out of wood and we all did a collage and a bit of illustration and just some different creative things like that during our time here. Here's a few maybe things that I'm gonna take home with me that I've written in the notebook. Things like, you don't have to put yourself in a box when talking about your career or your creative outlet, you don't have to be one thing and no one decides when you become a film director or a filmmaker or a musician. There's not like a line in the sand that says you're allowed to say that or put that in your Instagram bio or anything like that. Another thing is always ask why and be willing to learn. Choose to be uncomfortable. Don't forget to set aside time to play. Write down what artists you want to work with and who you want to collaborate with to set yourself some goals. Start the thing, the thing you've been talking about for a long time, start. I've also written here, finish the thing. As creators, we've always got to uh, remember that. I've written a few key words about just how I'm feeling um, in this season, in this kind of transition time in my life, including things like I'm feeling the weight of significance, I'm feeling a little bit rushed, but I'm feeling very creative. 
I'm feeling super passionate. I've, I'm probably feeling that all the time. I'm just a passionate person. And sometimes I feel a little bit under-resourced. So that's just me kind of being honest with how I'm feeling, some of the things I've been praying about this weekend. Another thing I'm just going to outwardly process in this sort of middle of the woods for you guys is they asked me as soon as we arrived who are you and why are you even here and so you had to kind of think of something on the spot to reply and I wrote that I'm Joseph and I'm here because it's perfect timing and I'm transitioning from a filmmaker into being a film director that's the dream I'm not sure what that looks like or what the next step is work-wise for me but I want to sort of edit and shoot less and dream, produce, write and direct more. So that's letting you into a little bit of inside knowledge of my life and behind the scenes from this channel and what you can see. That's me, that's who I am. One day I do dream about making feature films and doing more writing and storyboarding and that kind of thing. But for now, it's me alone in the woods with a proper cowboy <laughs> microphone set up and camera set up. Um, and as you can see, some sort of white sheet thing behind me. I'm not totally sure of its purpose. I hope you too have found some time to rest recently, to write some questions down, to write some prayers down, some big dreams, and to sort of, sort of assess where you're at and how you're doing, and also giving it all to God and making sure that even though um, we do have these dreams and we're excited about the future, actually, as long as it glorifies you, God, as long as it points to you, Jesus, then just have your way, just make it happen. And we'll see, we'll see what happens in the future, what happens next for my career. If you wanna hire me as your filmmaker for your event or film or story or music video, then Joseph the Dreamer, like, subscribe, peace, be at rest, you are.